All right, guys. So I just saw uh, Thor Love and Thunder last night. Uh, it came to Disney Plus, so I'm going to give you a little review of that. Um, the, overall, the movie was enjoyable. I think that it had some issues, some of the same things that people are saying online uh, with balancing out the humor and the serious uh, moments. Um, because I, you know, and I enjoy the director's humor. I, I don't know quite know how to say his name, Taika Waititi. Um, and I've enjoyed watching Thor Ragnarok. It was one of my favorite MCU movies, those in the Guardians. I love a lot of humor in there. Um, I, I liked his Jojo Rabbit. I thought that was great, um, how it tackled a serious subject, but uh, did it with humor and uh, had a lot of great emotional punches to it. Um, as far as uh, Thor Love and Thunder goes, I do have to say that, yes, maybe it, sometimes they did take the humor a bit far. Um, it was, seemed, did seem a bit unbalanced because there is some serious stuff in here. Um, and like I said, I watched Jojo Rabbit and that's about the Holocaust. So, um, he, he does know how to handle serious stuff with humor, but it just, every time something serious would happen, it, you know, there, there was almost like a tonal, uh, whiplash going from very serious scenes to very humorous scenes, comedy to drama. Um, the story with Gore, the God killer, um, he is one of the best villains uh, in the MCU. I don't know if I should say that, right? I, this is just me speaking in the moment. But I did enjoy his villain arc and that he had a reason for doing what he was doing and that it was kind of about his kid. Um, so I did enjoy that. Um, but not just that. There was the story of uh, uh, Jane Foster with her cancer treatment. And um, sometimes it was just like we go from that and then we go to sort of slapstick or just you know weird humor. And it, it that needed to be in there, but I, I don't know that it was filled in quite as um, well as I, or that it was integrated quite as well as I would have liked. Um, great action scenes, great music. I always like, you know, they're kind of continuing the tradition of Guardians of the Galaxy of kind of not necessarily era music, you know, I, I don't know, um, but just music from pop culture into the movies. And I do like that contrast. Uh, beautiful scenery and that thing, but it was kind of the humor uh, that the juxt juxtaposition of the humor that was a little bit questionable at times. Um, I kind of wondering where things are going from here. Um, if you watch the ending, there was a uh, well, actually, you would watch the ending before I get to the end credits, but it, at the very end, Thor ends up kind of adopting uh, Gore's daughter, taking care of her. And they're going into battle. And that's interesting, seeing Thor as possibly a, uh, a father figure, uh, wondering where this will go. But I don't know how it's going to work. Because, um, as you know, movies take a while to make. And how old is this little girl going to be by the time they get to another Thor movie? I don't think I remember seeing one of those on the uh, planned movies. So when are we going to see Thor next? Uh, maybe the Avengers movie? Maybe he'll pop up somewhere else? Or is, is this just an open-ended ending and we're not going to see what happens? And we're just supposed to be... But then it said at the end, uh, Thor will return. Kind of like they used to do with James Bond. James Bond will return or something like that. So he is coming back. But I just don't know from a technical level, how are they going to pull this off? Um, are they going to recast the girl? Is it just going to be she's... By the time they do that, she'll be a, you know much older, maybe a teenager. I just don't know. Maybe she'll be a young Avenger. Maybe we have something like that coming up. I don't remember it being announced, but they sure seem to be setting the place. Um, as far as the after credit scenes, too, uh, the idea of Hercules. Loved seeing him there. Um, the weird thing is, I kind of view Hercules as having a lot of humor. Almost like they're writing Thor now, uh, but he seemed very more serious in this little scene. Now, it's just one scene. But um, I love Hercules. I hope that they do him justice. Um, but this isn't so much a reaction as a review. I, I don't really have many criticisms other than that humor thing. And that unfortunately, that can uh, be a major thing. Everything else, though, I liked. I liked the inclusion of Jane Foster. And I'm glad they brought in the storyline from the comics and didn't just give her the hammer, that there's a reason that they have the cancer. I um, I think the explanation in the comic book was a little better, that whenever she transforms, she wipes out her chemo. So her body can't make progress. 
on uh, wiping, uh, wiping out the cancer. Um, so she kind of has to make this decision of, okay, I'm going to be Thor, but I'm going to lose all the progress on the cancer. Whereas this kind of jumped into she's in stage four and um, using the hammers, just not letting her heal up. So I like the comic book explanation a little bit better. Um, yeah, but aside from the tone of Whiplash, good movie, I'd probably give it, uh, uh, unfortunately, I'd probably have to knock a, cu a couple points off. I'd probably give it about an 8 out of 10. So let me know what you thought about it now that it's on Disney Plus and more of us can see it. Uh, looking forward to seeing what you have to say.